How do you do, people everywhere and friends abundant, children and mothers and fathers and teachers and boys and girls and men and women, and I hope I've included everybody. I am Professor Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business, and I want to show you a wonderful thing bearing on the field about a current bearing conductor, which Ersted first observed in 18 and 20, and which Michael Faraday made so much of in 18 and 31, and now some very beautiful and aesthetic consequences. Notice, beautiful, aesthetic, dramatic. So come with me to elsewhere in this castle hall and look at what we have here. We have first a glass vessel around which we have wound a coil of wire very fine. And here are the ends of the coil. The beginning end and the end end. That's all right, the beginning end and the end end. Now I am going to put some water in that vessel up to about uh, the top of the coil or pretty nearly. Not quite, doesn't need so much really. Now we must look at our next operation. I have here a sewing needle which has been put through half a styrofoam ball, a hemisphere. The needle is pointed, and there's the head. And this needle has been magnetized so that one pole is there and the other in my fingers. And I'm going to put it in the water, and it floats. That's it. And so it's somewhere in the middle. That's probably a nice place. Now I'm going to put another one in there. And that one floats. Now I am going to connect the ends of the coil to my source of electrical energy, which happens to be four dry cells in series. Here is one connection, and there is the other connection, and now we will see some wonderful things. Oh, oh I have the connection the wrong way, I think. Yes, I have the connection the wrong way, so I have to change. I am changing the connections so that the current in that coil around the walls of the glass vessel, the current is in a certain direction. Ha ha, there we are. There we are. Now two of them can, of course, be only on a line. Now let me add a third one. Here is a third one. Watch it. Watch it now. Well, that's a little twister leaning over. So I'll... There it is. Wait for a moment. Wait for a moment. Notice they are taking the corners of an equilateral triangle. Let me put a fourth one in. I'll put a fourth one in, and boy, a little surface tension trouble. Notice they are taking up the corners of a rectangle, a parallelogram, or a square. Let me put a fifth one in. Fifth one. Notice, well, surface tension is pretty high, and I'm having a little problem. But no failure, of course. Let me put another one in. Notice the beautiful symmetry with which they arrange themselves. There. This one is a little tipped over. I'll have to rectify that. And what we are hoping to see is that they float about and take up a position of symmetry because the field produced by the current in this wire is symmetrical internally.